Hi, um, yeah, my internet's broken. Uh, what do you mean it's broken? It's just all slow and I can't get to YouTubes and Facebooks. Does other stuff load? Like, do you have any connectivity at all or is it just being slow? Well, I don't know. What does that mean? I mean, like, is it working or is it just slow? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? What What do you mean you don't know? Have you tried rebooting your router yet? Uh, I guess. Okay. Have you tried rebooting the radio on your roof? I don't know. Can, can, can you just come fix it? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> What's going on? Yes, I'm still around, and yes, the ISP is still rocking. Not a whole lot going on, though, so kind of hard to make videos on nothing. <laughs> Pretty sure I've said that before. You guys know the drill. But one thing I've noticed happening from time to time, which I'm sure many of you have come across, too, is people complaining. Well, not just complaining. Everybody complains, but I mean legitimately having some connectivity issues. They're saying everything's slow, taking a long time to load, all that kind of stuff, even though everything else on the network's fine. I've learned that nine times out of 10, this is caused by noise. Somebody has their router cranked up too loud, too hard, too high, whatever. It's drowning out their radio. Well, this is how I diagnose and fix that. If it's even possible to fix because sometimes it's not. <laughs> All right, let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you what I do. I'm sure you don't want to look at my ugly mug the whole damn time. <laughs> this is the current state of a uh, ping plotter looking a uh, looking a bit rough. And this is the same kind of thing you'll see if you run ping tests in a subscriber's radio, because you can do that from the, the tools thing. I'll show you that in a second. It's the same thing you'll see in there, sometimes even worse. Ping times all over the place, drop packets, all that kind of stuff. So um, no bueno. So I'm gonna use the radio on my house as an example, because I have it connected to a radio that I know gets a lot of, a lot of interference right now as you saw in the ping plotter thing. Uh, speeds will look good. You'll look in there and everything will be fine. Everything looks good. You're like, what the hell's going on? Well, if you go to site survey and let it run, I'll fast forward this. As you can see, this is the radio I'm connected to. It is covered with junk. And these are all other people's routers and who knows what else. Yeah, routers it looks like. There's nothing you can really do about that other than like going around and trying to find them and then knocking on their door like, hey, can you turn your router broadcast power down? Most people be like, what the hell are you talking about, dude? So really there's not a whole lot you can do about it. You can see drowned out. So I have another one over here. This is my other sector radio in the clear. Easy fix. You just change radio. So we will cranked up a recording of ping plotter as well so you can see when you go into wireless and you hit save changes, it'll disconnect, obviously. Eventually, there we go. And you'll see that in ping plotter, no big deal. But when it reconnects, watch, the, the ping times will be nice and consistent. I'll speed this up as well. And there it goes, it reconnected. And you can already see on ping plotter, way, way, way better. Um, some packets get dropped. That's just normal. I don't know why it does that, but <laughs> could be a hundred different things. Could be my computer. I mean, I'm mining crypto right now. Who knows? Every once in a while doesn't hurt anything. Not that big of a deal. I'm looking at ping times as a whole and uh, consistency. And you can see way better, way better. So is that gonna be an option for all of you? No, probably not. Some of you may not have multiple sectors to connect to. Some of you may have sectors that are all buried by just wireless noise. But that is something you can show them and be like, hey, look, okay, your, your neighbors are drowning you out. Not really anything I can do about that if you wanna to talk to them maybe, it's something like that. Like I said, sometimes there isn't really a whole lot you can do about this sort of thing. In my experience, Getting them changed over to one of the other radios usually helps at least enough for it to work correctly, work good enough. Hopefully that's an option for you guys too, because dealing with noise is a real pain. One other option is switching to 60 gig or maybe even another piece of the spectrum. I don't know, whatever's available to you. 
because 60 gig doesn't really have as much noise as 5 gig. 5 gig is everything from your wireless routers to cell phones to microwaves to, I mean, there's tons of junk on 5 gig. I don't know, maybe you can, maybe you can't, maybe you have another sector to change to. Whatever works, you gotta get them out of that, that, that traffic jam. And yeah, you can show them that. Be like, here, I, I've sent them screenshots. Like, look, I don't know if this is your router or your whatever. It may be your neighbors, it may not. I don't know whose it is, but they're the problem. My stuff's working fine. Not much I can do for you, sorry. If you go around and like seriously try to fix this for everybody, it can be a full-time job in and of itself if you have a lot of subscribers. I'm all about helping people out, but man, Again, sometimes there's nothing you can do about this kind of thing other than going and pounding on people's doors like, hey, turn your router down, in which case they're gonna look at you like you got lobsters coming out of your ears. Your options may be different. You may have other ways to do it, you may not, I don't know. Depends on a whole bunch of different things, but that's at least something you can do to troubleshoot, find the probable issue, and it'll give you something to show them. Like, hey, look, this is what's going on, this is why, this is how you fix it. And a lot of the time they can call their neighbors or turn off their router or whatever. I've even had their router drown out their stuff. I had one subscriber, no joke, her laptop for some reason was acting as a hotspot, completely murdering her radio. Don't know why. I, I told her what was going on and she didn't believe me at first and eventually she found that her laptop was the one doing it and she was like, what? I don't even use it for... I don't know. I don't know. Beats me. It's, it's one of those things that can be a hundred different things and sometimes you can fix it, sometimes you can't. But at least you have a way to find out what's going on and to show them what's going on. So yeah, troubleshooting. Good times, had by all, I guess. I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> anyway, questions, let me know. If you'd like to see more of this kind of crap, let me know. I don't really have a whole lot going on, but I'll do what I can. In the meantime, like, share, sub, all that happy horse shit. See you.